behind in the count, how yes. important for him is strike one. Muy importante. <laughs> Very important. I think all pitchers need to get ahead and, and pitch aggressively. Uh, with Tyler, probably more so than ever, uh, just to you know have that feeling of, of being on the attack. I think we saw that the last three innings in Atlanta. So you know, we turned that around a little bit, which is great to see. His stuff's fine. His stuff's fine. Just he's got to locate the ball. Do you ever when you look at the ch the shift for this team offensively? Correlates with Nolan. How, what does he mean to this thing? Well, he's the you know he's the lead bull. I think him and him and Charlie and Trevor, you know, are 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 players who play or who have played you know pretty much every game. Now with Murph back in there, even though he's not in there tonight, Murph also helps take the lead in our offense. But and the other guys in the lineup, whoever they might be on a given night. You know, are asked to be contributors on, you know, on certain nights when, you know, they have when they have their uh, great at bats. But you know, over the long haul of the season, you need your lead bills to, to be productive and, and be, uh, you know, big producers. And you know, Nolan's led the way so far. Uh, Trevor's done a nice job. Uh, you know, Charlie's come on stronger the last couple of weeks. So, but again, it's going to take everybody. But we need uh, we need our big guys. To do their Sticking with the offense there, buddy. David Dahl has had some big swing of, uh, of the bats, but he's also had a couple of situational at bats that haven't gone best for him. Is there a way you still see for him to tighten things yeah. up and, and oh, really sure. improve? Oh, yeah, yeah, we got we got to tighten it up for sure. I think David at times gets a little over anxious. Uh, he's aware of the situational hitting, and I think sometimes as young players, you try a little too hard to do the job, and his swings get a little big, and uh, anxiousness uh, takes over. And, and he'll expand the zone. So it's a comfort level in those at-bats. So something that we talk about with David and doesn't happen overnight, it will, it will gradually happen once he gets more comfortable, you know, in the, in the number of situational at-bats that, that build up over, over time. Hey, buddy, what's your overall assessment of your bullpen for the first month or so of the season? Overall, pretty good. You know, I think if you statistically, if you look at it, it's pretty good, right? I don't know what the exact numbers are but uh, there hasn't been many games where I thought that we should win and we haven't. So that's a good thing as you go into the later part of the game. Uh, you know, I think that, you know, for us to get to where we want to be, they're going to have to pitch well, just like all facets of the game. We have to hit, we have to starting pitch, and we have to pitch out of the bullpen. We're going to play good defense. I think we're a good defensive club. That's been apparent. So, uh, you know, overall, statistically, you know, our, our guys are doing pretty good, pretty good job. Buddy, what are the qualities you've seen out of Carlos and Steph as they're leading you to use him in some height Well, situations? I think the velocity's up, and I think the overall uh, ball strike ratio has been pretty good, so he's, the walks have been down. Uh, the slider consistency's been there so far this year. So I think those two those two things, I think Thomas, are, are, are the thing, the, the things that give us confidence in, in Carlos coming into games. Does it does it parlay too that he seems to have a lot of confidence in himself, so it becomes important for you guys to reinforce that you have a reason for that. I, I, think, I think good outings obviously, you know, breeds confidence, and you know, out of the shoot here, he's, he's pitched well, and I think that you know because he's throwing strikes and the walks are down, the strikeouts are up. That's always a good sign. Now, he's been victimized by a couple long balls, but. You know, that goes with the nature of throwing a lot of strikes. But, you know, he's in a good place right now. He's in a good place. With Tyler Anderson, and he's not in there now. We're going to give me that. With Tyler, you kind of mentioned a couple of weeks ago, sometimes they kick in the almost to a fault. Like, you what? You can almost work too hard. Is, he, is, is there, as soon as we're talking about batters pressing the ice, is there, you notice that maybe it's pressed a little bit too hard? It's natural when you're, you're in a little bit of a downturn, you, know, you press a little bit, and that's the nature of any anybody that has any, anything worth, worth their salt. I mean, when things are going bad, you work hard to get out of it. And sometimes you can, you can work too hard and try too hard and press and try to do too much. And it works against you. And that's happening a little bit, I think, with Tyler's too. Is it but, for, for him? Has it been? Because, you know, 
the, the knee thing is yeah. difficult to work with. The knee like thing, like, like we talked yeah. about, it's bothered him at the end of spring training. <coughs> yeah. and, and, and he thought, and we thought that he was going to be able to manage it, because this has been an ongoing, right? I mean, and we've never really talked about it, right? And so and we put him on the DL, but, but he's fine now. Yeah. But I do think that the first couple starts, uh, the knee was an issue with his mechanics. And I, I guess if I should, okay, with his mechanics. Right? I think that's the kind of thing that you would be working on in between starts. Like yeah. Hey, buddy, one more question on Tyler. Uh, when he's right, the fastball command sets up a very good change in, correct? Yep. Very much. So, has his struggles been a lot because the fastball commands off, which therefore makes his change up much less the, effective? The change up has been off a little bit too. Oh, it has. Yeah. So, okay. so I think they they work in tandem. That, that's you know, you know every pitcher has his best stuff, right? John Gray fastball slider, uh, Herman Marquez fastball slider, uh, Robbie Ray fastball slider, Zach Granke fastball slider, Tom Glavin fastball change, John Smoltz fastball change. John Burke at sinker slide. Buddy Black. Black. Buddy Black, fastball curve. Um, right? Want me to keep going? Okay. <laughs> no, you don't have to. <laughs> no. But you know, with Tyler, it's fastball change. And for him to pitch well, those two need to be, need to be happening. And fastball just means fastball location with velocity, uh, keeping the hitters off balance, disrupting their timing, not knowing what's coming at any time, any count. And that's when he's got his best. Buddy Murphy out of the lineup, is that due to the lefty or his no, finger maybe uh, uh, No, finger's fine. Uh, he had a little bit of a lower uh, back tightness uh, coming out of that long game on, on Wednesday night in Milwaukee. Uh, he was not going to play Thursday anyway, uh, which he did yesterday. And the back's just in, still a little stiff today. So, precautionary. Uh, not going to start him, but he's available tonight to hit in a big spot. We'll use him tonight, but I suspect that he'll be back. Uh, starting, uh, I would think tomorrow. I mean, we'll see tomorrow, but I would. Now that it's been a, a few series for him back, how, how do you feel like the lineup has been able to coalesce around him? What has he done to just lengthen that? Front? What's the that definition I'm of coalesce? I was going to say that's a big <laughs> word for Star Trek. <laughs> Excuse me. I think me. I've heard it, but I don't know what uh, Coalesce. <laughs> you're, you're back, by the way. <laughs> Okay. Working together. The glue guy, yeah. yeah. He kind of glues. Doesn't he just sort of let yeah. everyone in the lineup yeah, fall to where they need I to be? I think that he, you know, every at-bat he gives you such a, a, a good at-bat. He's noticed by the walks he's taken. Very rarely does he swing out of the strike zone. You know, he hits the ball where it's pitched. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a guy that provides a lot of dialogue in the dugout. Uh, he's great that way. Because we have some guys who are a little quiet in the dugout. I mean, they're intense, they're focused, but they're not real verbal. And he brings that verbal to the dugout, which is awesome. And But I think more than anything, he brings talent in the batter's box. So he helps us coalesce.